guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And um, Matilda was crying, so I'm not sure. She, she wants to jump on the camera, but she's on the recliner. Come here, silly. We're not going to jump on the, on the camera. There. Do you want to say hi? Here's me or here. Say hi, everybody. Do you see your sister? There she is. There she is. Go get her. <laughs> All righty. So today is um, eventually going to be Monday Make Along. And um, I had to stop a project that I was doing, number one, because... I did not like, okay, there you go. I did not like where the colors were going. Um, so I ripped out, I think it was, um, who? I can't remember. I think it was like about eight or nine rounds. I ripped out because I just didn't like the color. Um, and I'm talking about Sophie's Universe. I am going to do it. But I am going to do it um, with, uh, was doing it with um, an in-between, a one and a two-weight yarn. And I, uh, no problems with it. I just didn't like the way the yarn was changing in it. So I decided to stop. I ripped back to the solid color and I have made a uh, Sophie's universe doily instead um i used a uh a king cake or something like that um but i got it from hershner's whenever they had the ones that were on sale so this is what my sophie's universe doily looks like I probably had like this much on it that I ripped off that because uh, because I did not like the way the colors were working up. So, yes, I did that. So now I just have a solid color doily, which I like a lot. And um, I was thinking of uh, putting it on the heater over there, but Persephone likes to sleep on the heater sometimes. So I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put this masterpiece that I made. Not sure at all. But it's going to go somewhere. So that is my masterpiece of Sophie's Universe. When I can find, I'd like to find the perfect three-weight yarn. Hmm. I just have to keep looking. I don't think I have, I don't like this color. So I know I don't have enough. There's only 273 yards in this happy place. And I'm not going to make a blanket made out of wool. I'm just not going to do that. And this is 100% wool. So, um, yeah. But I will be on the lookout. So if you guys know a nice three-weight uh, yarn that I don't have in front of me right now, <laughs> I, um, yeah, I'd like to, to do something about that. So once again, I'm going to show you my Sophie's Universe Sophie's Universe um, um, what did I call it? I don't know. Coaster. I don't know. But I think I'm going to put it right there on that one. Uh, which is going to get moved right behind the couch. Uh, but, you know, I'll figure out. Doily is what I was calling it. So, uh, yes. 
Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it or when, sometime today probably. But, um, yeah, that's all. I do have these. This is like a three-way. There's a 3,284 yards, 3,280.84 yards in each ball. And I have four. I have two of this color, one a dark purple. Maybe those two together would go good. I don't know. I, I kind of don't want to use them because... I don't mind using, you know, one of them. That way I still have one of every color. Okay, that's not what we are here for. Okay, last last look at my doily. I really like the pattern. I am going to redo it, but probably not until next year. I want to find the perfect yarn to do it in. Although I love this yarn, but it would have to be a solid yarn. And I do possibly have some contenders. So, um, there we go. That's it. I am headed out of here. Um, I will be coming to you guys soon. I have some, uh, different things I need to open. And, um, so thanks guys for watching. You guys have a great day and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.